hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to teach you how to create a discord bot using the discord.js library in node.js with the help of node.js and javascript so first of all you need to have node.js in your system so you can go to node.js.org and from there you can download node.js for your system it's available for windows mac and linux so you can download it according to your needs and you can download it using using a uh, installer or a standalone binary so it's your choice uh, I prefer installing it with the Windows installer now once you have downloaded this you need a code editor so the best code editor available out there is Visual Studio Code or you can use AI code editors like cursor tray but I prefer using Visual Studio Code you can use the copilot if you want the help of AI but I won't use uh, fully AI code editor I would prefer Visual Studio Code over it and then after that you need a discord developer account so just go to discord.com slash developer slash application now here log in with your discord account and then create a new application so I'm going to write yt bot and create so it will give you a captcha once you pass that captcha now you might think that your bot is ready but no your application is ready to create your bot go to the bot section here and then a bot you can see uh, there is a token for your bot so this token is very important this token basically gives you the access or gives you uh, the password to log in into your bots account so make sure you don't share this with anyone and in this just authorize uh, just uh, enable these intents the presence intent, the server members intent and the message content intent just enable this and save the changes and the name of your bot would be yt bot and now how to get this bot into a discord server so this is the server so what you have to just do it what you have to just do is go to auth to section and here you have to just select application dot commands and bot and then in the bot permissions click click on administrator so when you give the administrator permission it automatically checks in all the other permissions and just copy this URL open a new tab and paste it there so yeah now it automatically opens my discord and tells in which server I have to add so I will add it to IT server continue and authorize so it will again give you a captcha once you have done that go to IT server you can see the IT bot the discord bot is there now right now it is offline so now we will write the code to make it online so go to visual studio code and then open a folder so I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called as IT bot I will select this folder and now I will open up the terminal and just type in npm in it so when you download node js npm automatically gets installed so npm is basically node package manager so we are initializing a project so npm in it now the package name would be default version would be default description would be a, a discord bot the entry point so the entry point is index.js which is the default entry point so this is the file which would run to make your bot online and to do all the other functions so we will keep it index.js test command enter git repository if you are keeping this bot as open source so then you can paste the uh, github repository url here but right now we don't have the github repository and we are not keeping this code public so i'm just going to press enter then you can add keywords to your project so we'll just press enter in author you can add your name or just keep it blank and in license you can use isc which is the default or just you can use mit license but i'm going to keep the default and then type is common js or you can use module but we are keeping it common js and now you can see a json file would be created so when i just type in yes or type in enter you can see a package.json file is there so name version description license author you can change the author here and you can see also change the type and then our main file is index.js 
so now I'll create the main file index.js but to make this bot we need the library which is discord.js library so how to install it so just open up your terminal again and just type in npm install discord.js so it will not take much time it will take 10 to 15 seconds and it will get installed and once it gets installed it will show in our package.json so now it's installed and when I go to package.json you can see the dependencies is discord.js now what I have to do is I have to just type in here const discord equals to require discord.js and I will create a client so const client equals to new discord.client and we will give some intents to our client so you can see intents is discord dot this guilds and then discord dot guild messages and discord dot gateway intent bits dot message content so what are basically intents so it tells the bot what does it intends to do in the servers and now after that we are going to write a e ready event so client dot once ready a simple arrow function and here in console dot log formatted string logged in as client dot user dot tag right now we have written this code but we have not logged in into our bot and f to log in into our bot we need that token which you get on the developer portal so I'll go to the developer portal and I'll just click on reset token yes do it and if you have multi-factor authentication turned on then it will ask you for the multi-factor authentication code which changes every time so I'll just copy this and make sure you don't give this token to anyone if this token gets exposed you can reset, reset it and now at the end I can write client dot login and here I will just paste my token and now I'll open up the terminal and just type in node index.js so you can see logged in as yt bot now when I open up discord you can see the yt bot status is online so this is how you create a basic discord bot using discord.js library so what we have done first is we have imported the discord.js library the library then we have declared the intents of our bot and then we have written the ready event so once the uh, bot is ready then in the cons in the terminal we will log that logged in as the client.user.tag which means the username and the tag the four number tag which they have and to login into our bot we are just writing the dot login function and we are pasting our token there so this is how you create a basic discord bot in the next video we will learn how to create basic commands like ping which will, to which it will reply with pong and in further videos we will learn how to in integrate ai apis into this so when the user asks any questions then it fetches the ai api and gives the result so if you like this video then please hit the like button and if you like this kind of content then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.